This video will demonstrate the steps taken to create simple profiles in RockWorks displaying borehole data in two-dimensional strip logs. If you would like to create a strip log diagram in RockWorks, you should enter your data into the Borehole Manager database. In this example, we'll work with data stored in the Location, Lithology, and iData tables. The Location table includes the borehole or well names and location information. Easting and northing values can be entered in UTM or state plane coordinates or in a local coordinate system that is in feet or meters. The top and base depths of observed lithologic intervals are displayed in the lithology table like this. Downhole numerical interval based data is stored in the iData table and displayed in a spreadsheet format. To create a profile displaying strip log information, go to the Strip Logs Multi Log Profile menu. Here, you'll see a list of menu items on the left side of the screen, an instructions panel to the right of that, with the 2D strip log designer and the section selection map tabs to the right of that. I'll click on the 2D strip log designer to confirm the strip log settings in the project, and then on the section selection map tab. I'll use my mouse to draw a profile line and adjust the swath value so that the diagram will include any data within 100 feet of the profile line. Here's how profiles work in RockWorks. The program projects any boreholes that fall within this yellow swath onto the profile diagram. The distances between the boreholes and the profile are not the true distances between the boreholes, but the distances between them after they are projected onto the profile plane. I'll click on the process button and the resulting window displays the profile. Now let's explore some of the other menu items in the menu tree on the far left side of the window. First, legends can be added to the diagram by enabling the legend or legends of interest here. Once the legend is added to the profile, it can be moved and resized with your mouse. Text and other items in the diagram can be moved, resized, and edited as well. Profiles can be clipped based on an elevation range by enabling the clip option. The Plot Strip Map option plots a map showing the boreholes included in the diagram above or below the profile. Strip maps have been rotated so that the profile line runs from left to right, parallel to the top of the diagram. The Show Collar Distances option plots the distance between each borehole and the profile line along the top of the diagram. By enabling the Plot Surface Profile option, you can plot a surface representing the ground surface, groundwater elevation, or some other sort of subsurface feature. You can add vertical exaggeration to the diagram and adjust the display of the profile titles and scale bars through the Perimeter Annotation dialog box. Finally, the Create Additional Profiles option allows you to plot multiple evenly spaced profiles at the same time, either combining them on a single page or plotting them on separate tabs. If I turn on the Create Location Map option, the program will create a map showing boreholes and the location of the profile or profiles being created. Thanks for watching.